Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good morning. Thank you for uh, investing time today to hear about Morningstar's cloud transformation. Now, I'm a technologist like you, uh, except that you probably still do real work. Uh, I spend a lot of time talking now. But uh, we're also investors, and we don't always think of ourselves as investors, but through our retirement plans and savings programs, most of us actually are. And that's why Morningstar is so important. Founded right here in Chicago, uh, Morningstar is a leading provider of independent investment research in North America, Europe, Australia, and Asia. And for more than 30 years, we've been putting investors like you first. Our mission to create great products that help investors reach their financial goals. Products that look like uh, this. We combine high quality visual design with user experience that's informed by behavioral research to create products that unlock the full value of our research and data for individual investors as well as financial professionals. So whether it's through a report, um, a web or mobile application, a real-time data feed, or a web service call, our goal is to deliver beautiful, consistent, secure, and reliable products and services for uh, investors. Now, you know a little bit about us now. Um, and uh, I'd like to uh, talk about transformation. It's, uh, it's amazing how many products we've uh, built or acquired over the last 30 years. Um, we've amassed a huge amount of data. And we have some complexities that maybe you don't have. Take a look at our infrastructure. This is the footprint that supports our products and services right now. And whether you think this is big or small, imagine the effort that goes into patching and uh, upgrading and managing, configuring and securing an environment like this across eight global data centers. It's not trivial by any measure. We have great teams running our data centers, let me leave no doubt. But uh, running data centers is not a business differentiator for us and it probably isn't for you either. We want to maximize our talent, we want to own less infrastructure, and we want to focus on our core business to make the world better for investors. Now, a transformation is, is much more than just technology. And to align over 1,400 hardworking technologists worldwide to embrace a cloud transformation hasn't been particularly simple. At Morningstar, our technologists are distributed across several semi-autonomous product groups, each with their own uh, individual roadmaps and team goals. So to align all these teams, we first established a common set of high-level technology goals to include the goals that I already spoke about, uh, maximizing talent and owning less infrastructure. We talked about reducing complexity, not just in technology, but also in our processes and the way we work together. Uh, we talked about uh, improving product completeness and focusing on more than just product functionality, but also focusing on product security, product recoverability, uh, product reliability. We talked about increasing uptime and the importance of better monitoring and faster incident response. And over time, we've been able to weave these goals into our culture through a lot of intentional repetition in meetings and blogs and presentations and conversations. The goals were designed to be very simple to understand easy to repeat, and non-expiring. And uh, this has really paved the way for AWS because uh, 
our move to AWS supports each of these goals in very, very specific ways. So don't be passive about your culture, uh, because as someone said, uh, you'll end up becoming what you settle for. Now, the, the, the team is super excited about uh, moving to AWS. A lot of teams are doing a lot of important things. I'd like to talk about one of the, one of the teams here. We asked our data collection team to move a hugely important data collection application to AWS. And they employed a lift and shift strategy to get us into the cloud quickly. You see this here on the left. Once they got everything working, they began to reduce complexity. First, by replacing SQL Server with RDS for Postgres. We added Kinesis for messaging so that we'd have better control over workload distribution. Um, then, understanding that the application was only active two to four hours a day, we replaced all the EC2 instances with Lambda functions and committed to a strategy to create and destroy the entire compute environment on demand. This, uh, this reduction in complexity continued um, until we landed on the solution that you see here on the right. So through a lot of creative thinking and, and, and iteration, uh, check this out. From left to right, we actually realized a 97% reduction in cost. 97%. That's a huge number. Um, granted, this was a, not the biggest project ever, um, but if it were larger, just think, it's, it would be like $30,000 versus a million dollars. This is not an insignificant number. And we're just so encouraged that uh, we were able to do this. Do we think we can always do this? Uh, I don't know. But the fact is we did it once, so we know it's entirely possible to do. Um, so by the end of 2017, our core data APIs and data systems running in AWS will be uh, moving terabytes of data and processing millions of messages a day. By the end of 2018, our AWS implementation will store more than two petabytes of data and process more than two billion messages a day in support of over $500 million in annual product revenue. We're closing our Sydney data center at the beginning of 2018. We're shrinking our Shenzhen footprint by moving our non-production environments out. We're committing to a goal of a 70% reduction in our owned infrastructure over the next three to four years. We've created a cloud center of excellence to rethink areas like deployment and security and operations. And we're about to launch a retraining program to invest in and modernize the skill sets of high-performing teams already in-house. So while we're super excited about uh, cost efficiencies, we're even more excited about creating a frictionless developer experience that spurs innovation and increases productivity. Uh, it's about simplifying. It's about uh, reducing complexity, as I said. And uh, this quote really captures it all, uh, often linked to the architect Mies van der Rohe. Uh, it, it captures his desire to bring order to chaos and to find beauty and simplicity, and that's what we want to do as well, and that's why we chose AWS as our cloud provider. The pace of innovation, the breadth of services, the uh, professional support really set AWS apart for us. We believe that moving to AWS and owning less infrastructure means more capacity more security, more reliability, more peace of mind, and more freedom to create great products that help investors reach their financial goals. Thank you very much. Happy investing.